ready? <sighs> now, from the day I saw you at Finn, I knew you were my forever partner. Even through all our tough times, I've never doubted that we would make it to this day. <sighs> You've stood by my side through every decision, good and bad, that we've made. And you've made my life better in every aspect because of that. I can't thank you enough for supporting me and chasing my passions and risky endeavors. You are truly special and I can't ask for a better partner to build my dream life with. There are so many things I could say, but I'm gonna try my best to make it my story short. People say that there's no such thing as love at first sight, but if I could even begin to explain the feeling that I felt when you walked through the door one Sunday afternoon, seven and a half years ago, Everyone around the world will be hoping and praying for that kind of feeling someday, too. You are my sunset. You're the one that is always there at the end of the day. Good or bad, no matter what. The one that settles my soul and the one that shows me beauty in the midst of the crazy life. Thank you for believing in me the way that no one has. And thank you for seeing every single part of me and making me feel as if I'm the most perfect person God made for you. I love your crazy laugh. I love the way that you take care of me. I love how effortless our love is. I love your eyes and the way you make me feel like, feel when you look at me like there's nothing else in the world. I love that you make every ordinary day fun and memorable with your goofy made up words and sayings that makes us laugh. And how easily we can be happy together with take out and movie on the couch. I promise to listen to you vent about all your bad days. I promise to let you win some arguments even though I'm right. I promise to have your back through any and everything. I promise to work hard every day to make our dreams possible. I promise to put our marriage first before any and everything. I promise to love you through anything, no matter what. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. In the book of Genesis, God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. On that day, God was thinking about Mal and Brand. I love our Sunday morning coffees. I love the way that you love me. I love that smirk you give me when you're trying to keep a surprise from me. I love you and I love your soul in the deepest parts of you. You're my soulmate and I truly feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have you and bandit by my side forever. I think you promise to always love you and to cherish you and respect you. I promise to always support your wildest adventures and make your craziest dreams become a reality. I promise to always put us first. I promise to always make you sausage bis biscuits and gravy while we watch hunting on Sunday mornings and even let Banda lick the bowl. I promise to always be a team and put us first when we become parents someday. Yes, I can't wait for that. And I promise to give you my all every single day for the rest of my life. You once said to me that when you find a person you want to spend the rest of your life with every day, with them is truly amazing and everything that you have is worth fighting for. You are my rock and everything that I've ever dreamed of and I couldn't agree with you more. I love you more, Brian. It's just you and me. Each of them complete each other so well. They balance one another and while each of them is a tremendous individual of their own, hand in hand they are stronger, challenging one another and being better together as a team and partners in crime. This has been ultimately, this has ultimately led us here today to witness their commitment to each other in front of those that they love most. Lastly, Mal, I'm so thankful to share and be a part of another one of your most special days being right by your side. I cannot wait to see where life takes the both of you. It is no accident that we are all gathered here today and being here means you represent someone important in the lives of Bran. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It didn't take long after they started dating to realize that one day we would all be here today to celebrate this marriage. Mallory, you couldn't have picked a more patient, loyal, caring man to call your husband. 
Branson, I see the way you look at Mal and know that the sweet, loving, and understanding person she is is exactly who you want to spend the rest of your life with. Don't cry. <laughs> I wish you both nothing but the best, and thanks in advance, Mal, for letting go on many hunting trips to come. That's never going to change. From the Chipotle run, sitting through classes with each other, even when one of us wasn't even enrolled in it, to waving off randoms in the streets of downtown Cleveland, going in Tower City to get your nails done, trips to the steel yard, and driving around in circles downtown just so we could kill time while telling each other our whole life stories. Uh, God, thank you for Mal and Brian. Um, just pray, Lord, that you would just be with them throughout their life. Just keep them healthy and safe and just bless them, Lord, with a happy, prosperous marriage. Everybody raise whatever you're drinking. Congratulations to Brandon Mal. Love you guys. never-ending phone calls, FaceTimes, spur-of-the-moment hangouts, and fam sleepovers with Beto and Nalavi. Wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs>